Hello and welcome back. Uh, again, my name is Greg and I'd like to welcome you to the GNS3 uh, configuration section of installing GNS3 1.3.x. Uh, we've already loaded our iOS router for the uh, 2600 series platform. Uh, now we're going to load uh, the IOU devices. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is add this um, IOURC license path. And to do so, you just hit Browse. Um, mine is under the uh, C GNS3 uh, projects. Or, excuse me, GNS3 images. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you'll see this IOURC file. Uh, so you double click that and it puts that path in right there. Uh, so from there we have to load up the, the uh, IOU VM into VirtualBox. So let's bring up VirtualBox. And to do so you go to File, oops, File, Import Appliance and browse to where that file is at and again I keep mine in C GNS3 images and there it is uh, so you want to make sure that this is the latest one uh, if you go to the download page under GNS3 jungle where you downloaded uh, the GNS3 distribution file you'll see this uh, uh, GNS3 IOU VM uh, link at the bottom of that page and now bring up that will give you the the latest one for uh, as of this video version 1.3.4 um, so go and hit uh, double click on that puts the path in there hit next and then you don't change anything in here hit import let that import now one thing I will say, if you run into any issues with um, connecting in this video, as you'll see, um, some of the newer versions of VirtualBox are a little flaky, um, and um, right now the one that seems to be the most stable is not the latest, it's 1.3.22. Um, if you use any of the newer ones, sometimes uh, you can't ping the IOU VMs or the path doesn't show up as you'll see here in a minute. But let's go ahead and start it so we can bring that up and I can show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing you do is you click change network settings. <coughs> Excuse me. And what that does is uh, brings up the network adapter um, settings for the VM. So we'll go and hit OK. And then it loads. And this doesn't take that long. It takes about 23 seconds for it to load. OK, and this is what I was talking about. Um, sometimes, and I don't know if it's a VM issue or a VirtualBox issue, but I've seen some VMs that this the IP address that it tells you to load in your browser uh, doesn't show up right here. Um, and I'll show you what that's supposed to be. Um, but the best way to verify if it's working is to ping the, the remote. Um, let me show you that real quick. This, if you go back to server, remote servers, you ping this address and that's really the address that you need to put in the browser as you'll see here in a minute. So let's go back and ping that. Uh, where did my, here it is. So let's ping 192.168.56.101. Okay, we're pinging. As long as you're pinging it, um, you can uh, connect to the VM inside the browser and upload your, your images as you'll see here in a second. So to do so, just type in that 192.168, or I should say 192.168.56.101, 
colon 8000 forward slash upload and as soon as you hit enter the, that this page pops up and from there you can see that we are running the 1.3.4 um, you want to up the upload your um, license file into here as well so you select the IOU license IOURC browse and go to the images is where I keep it and double double click that and click upload and there it is so it's now uploaded into that VM so the, the next thing we gotta do is upload our IOU iOS images which is these uh, which are these uh, I should say um, i86 bi dash Linux dash L X if L2 for layer 2 L3 to, for layer 3 um, and we'll go ahead and do the L2 first and upload that and there it is so I'm going to copy this because you'll see why in a minute and then we'll browse and do the same for L3. L3 takes a little bit longer so while we're waiting for that we'll go back to GNS3 to IOU devices and let's go ahead and add the L2 device so we go new, next, OK uh, make sure this is set to L2 image paste that L2 path in there and then type IOU underscore switch alright and then we'll do the same for layer 3 okay layer th oops layer 3 and now we gotta go back and get the layer 3 path as well and that's this bottom one here copy go back to genus 3 paste that in and there we go so we'll put IOU underscore router and now we got our switch and our router in there so go and hit apply and OK and now we have an IOU router and switch in here uh, so that's pretty much it for loading um, an I or I should say configuring uh, IOU and IO uh, or IOU router and IOU switch. So um, the next video will be uh, loading up an ASA. So um, um, feel free to check that one out unless you already know how to do it. All right, take care. Bye.